Sometimes very special homebrews are made, and in today's video, I'm sharing one that I found out about on the Atari Age forums, and that's Flob. Flob is a new arcade action platformer for the Atari 8-bit home computer line that is simply stunning. I can't believe that this was made for this classic computer. It has amazing sound and graphics, and in today's video, I'm gonna do an unboxing of this new homebrew that's on physical cart as well as availability to download. And so I am having a lot of fun talking about different homebrews and aftermarket games on my channel. And I think these wonderful projects that come out from passionate programmers and studios is just awesome that they that people around the world are making these amazing games. And so I wanna share this game with you. So sit back, relax and hope you enjoy it. A game buddy of mine let me know about this and said, hey, you may wanna to go to Atari Age and check this game out. And I did. And this came from Poland, it shipped from Poland, the physical version of this game. And it was pretty fast shipping. It comes sealed. We're gonna break that seal and check this game out. I am really excited about sharing this. I don't do enough Atari 8-bit computers stuff on my channel but i thought this would be a great one to share as i do a lot of different homebrew games on my channel it comes packaged with some slime this is uh, one of the things that you collect in this game uh, the packaging is pretty awesome for a homebrew uh, has a nice sleeve cover talks about the game and inside it comes with a uh, a simple manual as well as cartridge and so you know these these are less common than some of other aftermarket and homebrew releases on other platforms but there are several aftermarket games and you just have to uh, be aware of that these are out there and uh, be ready when they're released I, I recommend going and being active on the Atari age forums as you can find out about these releases when they come out because typically they're fairly limited. So uh, here's all the information about the game as well as the studio behind this. Uh, very cool that uh, this was made on physical. And here's the actual cart. Looks fantastic by the way, and great artwork and design. All right, let's go check out the game. All right, so here it is. This is Flob, and I do believe this uh, debuted at a demo party, the Lost Party 2021 in Poland. And so that was the information I got from the Atari Age forums. And here it is. Uh, the link will be uh, more information about the developer and where to download. And here it is. And so lots of different things. Achievements are in this game as well as credits to everybody involved. I really like when a game does that. So here's the worlds. There's six different worlds and each world has uh, 20 plus different screens in it. And it's just, I mean, if you think about the limitations of the Atari 8-bit computer, this is just an amazing, uh, amazing release. And so uh, it's it, it reminds me of something like an indie title that would be released on the Switch. I mean, if you told me this was on the Switch, I, I would have loved it and played it and downloaded it. But this is on a, uh, a very old 8-bit computer line, and uh, you can't tell. <laughs> so simple premise, you know, you... You're, uh, you're trying to scrape a lab at, at the beginning of the game and talks about uh, the different slime pieces you pick up. And the, the gameplay is really simple. Single button and you're, you're flipping the level uh, up and down uh, to get through uh, various puzzle aspects of each map. And so it's, it's pretty sweet. I, I really like the, the premise of this game. And, you know, these types of puzzle platform games is something I've been playing more and more of. Uh, and, and I just really enjoy every aspect of this game. Uh, the graphics are great. So, you know, you start off caged up and, and you get out. And it's cool. You just uh, hit a button and you can flip the, flip, flip the level upside down. And, and you have to do this in various ways to uh, solve how to progress to the next 
part of the stage, eventually collecting all the little slime pieces and uh, getting through the stage. And so really, really cool. And so I, 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 there's a lot of thought that has gone into this game. And the more I play it, the more I appreciate it. So I'm going to show you a couple death animations as uh, I, th I think uh, that was pretty funny. So, yep, it's a pretty challenging game. There's some different difficulty settings. I think I have it on default. And, uh, yeah, there's even a score. So, progress throughout the level, and then, you know, it just gets more complicated as you go. I didn't get too far, and I don't want to uh, ruin some of the puzzle solving aspects of this game. So, I want to show the first level. Uh, some some aspects of it, but I'm not going to show it in its entirety so you can appreciate it and play it yourself to figure it out. Uh, sometimes I don't like that when someone shows everything of a game, uh, especially a game I want to play by myself, uh, to, to figure things out on my own sometimes. It's kind of neat. But yeah, there's just uh, many different screens, even on the first level. Well done. It's uh, well animated. And just a, just a cute little puzzle platform. Really, really enjoyed what what they did here, and just a lot of a lot of a lot of passion into this project. Over nine months to, to develop, by the way. So this is not just something sneezed out. This was uh, uh, took took many months to make and, and finalize. So yeah, as you progress, uh, things get pretty tricky, and so there's just a lot of neat little details in this game, and 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 you're not just collecting little slime pieces. You collect other other things and activate uh, items to unlock other parts of the level, so you can progress. And so right here, activate this, and it unlocks uh, a part of the lab, uh, you know, and so can be a challenging game but I like it so there you have it boy this game is pretty tough but there is a ton to go back and unlock there's also a cheat mode there's also uh, the ability to unlock achievements and ability to get to the different levels and so I think that's awesome it has so many things in this passion project. I want to thank everybody involved with making this because it's stunning. It's one of the better aftermarket homebrew games I've played and that's on all consoles and platforms. And so really seeing these come out and, and finalized and then released to the world is just the things that we need right now. I had a lot of fun playing this and look forward to play it more. What do you think? comment below and as always thank you for visiting my channel i'm having uh, an amazing time covering these aftermarket homebrew projects and there's so many out there and so if you're new to my channel consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell as i'm uploading different types of videos every week you folks are wonderful and beautiful let's keep it positive this is the immortal john hancock thank you for coming to my channel and you take care